Hey everyone, one of the most frequently asked questions I get on almost every single one of my videos is how do I color my hair, what's in my hair, what products do I use for my hair, um, and I will use this opportunity to tell you as much as I can about my hair. Let me again tell you a little bit about the basics of it. I color my hair, this is by no means my natural hair color. Um, I have obviously very long hair, it is dry, I have dry skin, so that would make sense that my hair is also dry, and of course by extension because I color it, that doesn't help. So um, that's the basic consistency. It's not thick, um, it's not on the fine side, I just have a lot, I have a lot of hair. Um, I always get charged a little extra because of the sheer amount of hair to highlight and color. Um, I'm going to insert some pictures uh, in a second that will show you um, what my color was as a baby. Basically, my color was as a child, what it progressed into during my teenage year, so you can see what the base color is. Um, I haven't seen my natural hair in 16 years? 17 years. So I know that we've had to adjust the formula a few times after the birth of each of my children. My hair color got a little darker. I cannot tell you how dark it really is. I never pay attention to these things when my hairdresser mentions them, but um, I think I am a solid brown, maybe even dark brown category. So that's what my hair is, and i sorry I don't have specifics. I have my hair colored every five weeks. I go to an Aveda salon and they use Aveda color and every five weeks I have my roots done. So they don't pull it through. I know some people do that. They don't do that. They just put the new the color on the new growth and then I would say every three months or so I add highlights. Um, I rarely go for full highlights. Um, we just keep adding partials mostly around my face. Um, Six pack, 12 pack are the words I hear thrown around. Um, I can't remember the last time I did a full head of highlights. I don't do low lights anymore. Um, they're just this, the darker colors is just my natural darker color coming through, I guess. Um, what else to tell you about my color process? I don't know the volume they use to bring it up. That's why I pay. Erica at Aveda the big bucks so that she can figure it out because I don't have a clue. That is like rocket science to me. Um, I get my hair cut not often enough according to my hairdresser. Probably because I'm there every five weeks with color. I just don't want to come back again. And um, anyway, get it cut. Um, so I should be getting my hair cut, you know, about every 12 weeks or so, 12 to 16 weeks, but I, I usually don't. I just kind of forget. And um, I call and make an appointment when my hair just isn't behaving. That's my sign. It's time to get a cut. Uh, when my hair is cut, it's probably due for another trim. I just have long layers put in. I don't have bangs. Um, and that's all I can tell about my haircut. As far as products that I use, um, I wash my hair twice the week. I could probably go longer than that. Again, it's the dry hair. I live in a drier climate. I don't work out. I don't get sweaty. Okay, so if you are a slug like myself and you don't get sweaty, then you, I mean, I shower, I just don't wash my hair. Okay, let's make that clear. I'm clean, I just don't wash my hair every day. Uh, if I did, my hair would look like straw. So when I do wash my hair, I have a whole um, storage drawer full of products that I try, but I'm showing you the ones that I go back to time and time again that I have repurchased often many, many times, and um, this is what I've been using. So. I did feature my new favorite shampoo, uh, and so I won't go into too much stuff, but it's by Giovanni, and it's the Too Chic Brazilian Keratin and Argan Oil. They also have a, um, this is the shampoo and conditioner, but they also have a third product or that goes with this line. I've only seen this particular line at Ulta. Giovanni's carried in other stores, but the Brazilian Keratin one, I've only seen so far at Ulta. If you've seen it somewhere else, please let me know. Um, so that's what I use in the shower. And then when I get out of the shower, I uh, use this, the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. This is my third bottle now. 
Um, I've tried it with the keratin and without. I really didn't see enough of a difference. I didn't see any difference between the one that had keratin and it's more money, so I get this. I've only actually had to buy one of these. Um, Lola Marie 7 Jess sent me one. And then I used that up, and then I bought a replacement, and then I had enough points at Ulta on my Ulta Rewards to get this one for free. So, it's still full. Yay! Because these are expensive. I, I will... It's expensive. But I love it. And I justify... I got a lecture from my hairdresser. I spend literally thousands of dollars on my hair every year. Why would I buy cheap products to put on it? Okay. Um, then I usually follow it up with a variety of things. Sometimes I make a little cocktail. I don't know if it works any better but it makes me feel better so I will usually then and I brush that through hang on so I, I spray spray and then I brush it through with the tangle teaser which I picked up in London but I now know you can get at Sally Beauty Supply so um, this is a uh, under 10 I would say so not not expensive and you can even use it in the shower it's great it won't damage your hair when it's wet then I make a little cocktail. Sometimes I just do straight up, it's a 10 miracle cream, and I just do a squirt and put it in my hands and run it through. Sometimes I also mix it with um, the Aveda, that has hair on it, the Aveda Smooth Infusion, blah, Smooth Infusion Style Prep Smoother. Um, it's, I don't even know why I use this. It says it defends against humidity for up to 12 hours. So I don't use this unless, I use it when it's raining or gonna rain or it's a little more humid than usual and it smells fabulous. And then at the ends, I use um, Moroccan oil, the original one. I got this one at my grocery store and I'm almost out. I have this much left and I'm very sad. I have tried other Moroccan oil. Um, none of them have worked the way I like how this one works. So I'll put a little bit at the ends when it's wet and then um, when it's dry to finish out if there's still any frizzies or flyaways I'll go like this put a little bit more and really absorb it into the hands and then kind of just um, you know go like this and then just very lightly go like that for any flyaways so that's what I do with my hair when it's wet now oh and before I heat style it, I've been using lately, I've used the Tresemme for a long time heat protectant, but I started using the Suave Professionals heat protection, and I like it too. Um, I think I like the Tresemme a little bit better, but this is actually uh, also a very good option. It's, um, it helps protect hair from moisture loss during heat styling. Now as far as styling my hair goes, I have kind of like three things that I may do. So style one is my favorite. It's the lazy version. I just towel dry my hair, put all the leave-in, put all the products in, and then go to sleep. Wake up the next morning with dry, unruly, crazy, like Medusa curly hair. And um, I've mentioned in a video that I got a lot of flack on, that I don't like my curly hair. It's not that I don't like curly hair. Obviously I do because a lot of times I'll curl my hair. I don't like my curly hair because it's not pretty curly hair. Some of it's curly, like pretty waves. Some of it's ringlets. Some of it's straight. Well, I like straight hair, and I like wavy hair, and I like ringlet hair, but I don't like all three at the same time. So when I let my hair air dry, I get a variety of textures. So when I am feeling lazy, I wash my hair, let it dry overnight, wake up in the morning and decide, do I want it curly or do I want it straight? If I want it straight, I get my GHD flat iron, which I didn't bring with me, but everybody knows what that looks like, and I just flat iron my hair and that takes 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. I will put the heat protectant back on and the clip I use, I love this thing. I got this in a pack at Ulta and um, it's a clip to put your hair up but it also expands so if you have a lot of hair it can really hold your hair up. And I just take the hair like that and you know there you go. And then straighten that and then let another layer down and so forth. So that's what I want to do if I want it straight. If I want it wavy, I do the same thing, but instead of using my flat iron, I use one of my Hot Tools curling irons, depending on what kind of wave I want, anywhere from a one inch to a two inch. So and we've all seen the tutorials. Lots of people more talented than me have done them, so watch those. 
Um, if I am feeling particularly, um, I don't know, energetic, I'll wash my hair in the morning, <laughs> get up early enough to do it, and um, I'll use a big round brush. And didn't remember to bring that, but they're the Brush Labs round ceramic round brushes that you can get at Ulta, and they're about that big around. I have one this big and one like this, and you just do the round brushing. And again, I do it in the layers, just like when I straighten or curl my hair, and then um, if it needs any smoothing, I smooth with my Moroccan oil. So, um, that is everything I can think of to tell you about my hair. No, it's not. I do do dry shampoo, um, not very often. I did it today because our hot water heater broke, so I took a very quick shower last night, but I did not feel like dunking my head under ice cold water, so I didn't wash my hair. And just to freshen it up, I used um, the Suave dry shampoo, and this is my favorite. Um, it smells really good, it's citrusy smell, and um, it, it will leave white cast in your hair if you don't have light hair, so make sure you rub it in. And um, I've used a ton of them, and this is, this is great. It's, it's, it does the same as all the other ones, and it's cheap as I'll get out. So, um, yeah. Okay, I think that's everything that I can think of. I hope you've enjoyed laughing at my um, hair uh, pictures that I inserted at the beginning and I'm going to give you one more to laugh about at the end and if I forgot to mention something or you have questions um, then you know ask them because I'm kind of flighty and I forget things so please feel free to remind me of something I've forgotten and I'll be happy to answer your questions if I can so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video